For the first time in human history, the two most affordable forms of energy do not come from burning fossil fuels, wow. but from catching onshore wind or clean, abundant sunlight. Most days in the middle of the day in California, energy is free. Electricity on the wholesale market is worth zero dollars, sometimes even negative dollars, because there's so much solar that's now been installed in California. The same thing is happening in the American wind belt. So while Andrew Ponick was the kind of kid who built solar panels in the garage, he realized that renewables are great for topping off batteries and cars and homes, but the factories, which make everything from steel to baby food, need a lot of energy all the time. The problem is you can't shut down your factory when the sun goes behind a cloud or the wind stops blowing. So with $80 million in investment from backers including Bill Gates, he started a company called Antora to store clean energy with... This is it. A box of rocks. I had a hard time explaining to my kids what nuclear fusion is, <laughs> but this is just a hot rock in a box. Exactly. <laughs> Heated up either by either wind or the sun, right? People sometimes feel like they're insulting us by saying, hey, that sounds really simple. And we say, no, that's exactly the point. <laughs> you know, there's not much more here than a steel box with insulation inside of that and some carbon blocks inside of that. That's it. Antor's batteries heat up blocks of carbon like this until they glow like little suns for a full day. What's right in the box right now is about 1600 degrees Celsius. So this is hotter than the melting point of steel and it's just a couple feet inside that shell. By cracking open the box, Andrew says they can release enough heat to make a factory steam and enough light to generate electricity as it glows into a special kind of solar panel. And while the box is tricky to build, the rocks are cheap and abundant. There's plenty of production of this. Even just 1% of the current production of carbon blocks would be enough to make terawatt hours of batteries, which would be enough to power, you know, the United States. A competing company called Rondo uses even cheaper bricks in their thermal batteries to create megawatts of power for a single factory without the need for a grid upgrade, which means places with a lot of sun and wind could become magnets for new industry. Both companies were present at COP28 in Dubai, where big oil had a big presence. But Andrew came back convinced that clean, simple ideas are the future. The transition is inevitable. It's going to happen. And actually, if you talk behind closed doors to most of the people in the fossil fuel industry, they'll say the same thing. They understand that. Yeah. Uh, but I'm confident that we're going to be able to take that huge tool that we have in solar and wind and displace fossil fuels faster even than most people think. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? What gives you that faith? Uh, it, it's really because of the technologies that are coming down the pipe. If you'd asked me five or ten years ago, I would have said, I'm not sure we have everything we need to decarbonize. Uh, but today, we have the tools we need, we just need to deploy them.